Sage Studio, my name is Lucy and I'm here to share with you another little Christmas craft as part of my December Christmas craft series. Here's what you're going to need to make your little gingerbread hanger. First of all, print out and cut out my gingerbread template. Find yourself some lovely felt in a gingerbread colour. You're going to need some ribbon, a little bow tie and a little hanger. Some pink felt optional for some rosy cheeks, some sweet buttons to go down his front and some stuffing to fill your gingerbread man with. The step is to cut out our template using our chosen fabric. So I've chosen this lovely gingerbread coloured felt for mine. I'm just going to pin my template. I'm cutting two together here onto my felt. And then I want to cut round my gingerbread man following this paper template. Then you should end up with two identical gingerbread felt men. Next we're going to add the gingerbread's little face and his little buttons before we sew him together. So I'm going to add some little cheeks to mine as well just to sort of add a bit of extra character. So I just want to cut two really really tiny little circles from my pink felt here. This is completely optional. Add to my little gingerbread man. I'm just freehand cutting here, but if you're not quite so um, keen to do that, you can find yourself a little stencil. So I'm going to stitch those on in a moment. And I'm also going to add two little eyes to my gingerbread man and a little mouth as well, which I'm going to stitch on with some black thread and a hand sewing needle. So I'm just going to do that now. I always double up my threads when I'm sewing by hand. Particularly for this sort of project, it just makes the um, cotton a bit thicker so it will show up on my belt. and tie a knot. To tie a knot I make a loop with my thread, put my needle through the middle, pull it slightly and then I put my needle point where I want the knot to be and then I pull and the knot will go right down to the fabric. So I've got some pink thread here and I'm just going to stitch a little cross through each of my cheeks. Doubling up my thread again. And then the reverse. 
And to stitch these on, I'm literally gonna stitch across in the middle of the cheek. Make sure if you use the same thread that you don't pull it so that your ginger old man folds. And there we go, my little face and my buttons are complete. So now I want to attach my two gingerbread men together. So right side facing out and you can either hand stitch around your gingerbread man with a running stitch or a blanket stitch. I'm going to use the sewing machine and I found myself a lovely mustard colour thread that I had. I had left over from a pinafore I made a while back so it's a thicker thread so I'm hoping that will show through this fabric nicely. And I'm going to stitch all the way around and I'm going to leave myself a little gap to then put some filling in before I close that gap up. And also importantly, we also need to add on our hanger. If you want to get some ribbon or string, whatever you're using to use as your hanger, I've found this lovely red and white candy stripe ribbon, which is nice and thin to go on the top of him. So to sort of position that where you want that to lie and then just pop a pin in there so that it stays in position, ready for sewing. need to pin your gingerbread man because the felt will naturally sort of stick together um, but you might just want to keep adjusting it every now and again so I'm just going to do a straight stitch but I am going to extend my stitch length so my stitch length would normally be two and a half I'm going to change it to three and a half just so that you can see the stitches slightly more when I'm sewing the gingerbread man up my little gingerbread man just little bits at a time being careful not to break those stitches and going down into each little section one by one a chopstick or something of that sort is also really helpful at this stage to get down in all those little legs limbs of your gingerbread man There's our little gingerbread man stuffed so now we just need to clear close up this little gap here so this little bit you're going to need to do by hand so a little running stitch just to close that little gap up so i'm going to borrow some thread from my machine I'm going to start inside one piece so that I can hide the knot. Push your fabric together and you want to do a little running stitch down there. Trying to keep your stitches similar to your machine stitches. And 
and then I'm just going to tie the knot on the reverse, same way as I've done on the face stem, and to the chin. And I'm going to trim that off right up to the threads. There we go. Now all I've got left to do is add this rather cute little bow. Again, you can choose how you do this. You can either tie a bow first and stitch it on the front. I quite like to wrap it around like it's a scarf and tie a little bow at the front. So get yourself a length of ribbon. I always find also if you've got a longer length of ribbon, it's worth not cutting it before you tie it. And then I'm just going to make a nice little bow. So there we have him, super cute little gingerbread man to hang from your tree. Why not get the kids involved and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and watch out for my next craft video coming up tomorrow. Happy sewing everyone!